firefighters are back home and doing well after getting injured while responding to a three alarm fire in the Russell neighborhood today. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes shares details on that investigation. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused the fire in the three story building on West Muhammad Ali Boulevard. What is clear is how much damage it left behind for the people who live there. It all happened so fast. I don't know what happened. Everything was fine one minute and seemed like less than five minutes later the house was full of smoke. In that moment, as flames crept up his third story apartment building, Richard Bell feared for his life. I didn't think I was going to make it out. I was really scared there for a minute. Still covered in ash and soot, Bell described the few panic minutes he was trapped on the second floor as the room filled with smoke so thick he could barely see his hand in front of his face. I tried my best to get the front door to open, but I couldn't. The door handle was so hot that I couldn't hold on to it long enough to turn it and pull at the same time. No sooner than I'd grab it and start to turn it, my hand would start burning real bad and I'd have to let go. That's when he ran to the window, busted the glass, and jumped onto the roof. Louisville firefighters were already there with a ladder and helped Bell get to safety. He went to the hospital for treatment. He and his cat, Fluffy, are now looking for a place to stay. They're one of several people now without a home because of the fire. I hate to see this happen to anybody. You know, they're... Just wasting the home. I hate to see that happen to anybody. I hate to see it happen to our house. Bill Edlin lives in the building next door. He watched, horrified, as it took nearly 100 firefighters an hour and a half to put the fire out. It was a long battle, fueled by the home's condition. These houses are old. The wood's old. Once it gets started in a fire, it's it's on. It's it's going to go up. With the transmissions of holes in the floor, that fire is burning. Everything's getting hot. Your floor is giving away, your stairwells are giving away. Add in low visibility and three firefighters ended up with injuries, including one who fell from the second floor. They were all released from the hospital Friday evening. Now seven others who lived in the building managed to get out or were not home at the time of the fire. Alina Noakes, Wave News. Thanks, Alina.